Welcome to video 64 in series 3, and in this video I'm going to write the item set position script. Okay, so this script is going to be responsible for placing the item in the correct place of the, I guess, what well, player's hands, though of course that's invisible. So set position. And, you know, at the moment when you pick up items, they're exactly where you pick them up from relative to the player. So this time I'm going to make it so that you can actually set the local position where that object should be relative to the player. So open that up. Okay, and private item master. Item master. And public vector3. Item local position. Okay. I won't need uh, the start and update methods. And I will need another one. Void set position on player. In set initial references, I'll say item master is get component item master and of course call that set initial references done and I'll also call set position on player and I'll also subscribe while I'm at it so this should happen whenever you pick up an item that its position is correctly set relative to the player so why don't I just do that so item master I thought event object pickup plus equal uh, set position on player done and have the uh, corresponding unsubscribe done. Okay. Now, before setting the position on the player, I should just check that it, it is in fact on the player. So if transform dot root uh, dot compare tag. So that's the references. So game manager references dot player tag. Okay. If that is the case, then we'll set it transform dot local position is equal to item local position there we go and that will set it because I'm saying it because I'm calling it an on enable then this check is going to happen on all items whether they're on the player or not so this is just a safety so make sure that I don't uh, set every single item in the scene to the player but those items that are on the player already then they are correctly, they're set to the correct position relative to the player. Okay, so that is it for writing that. Now it's time to go and apply that. So let me uh, grab both of them. Put item set position. And so what is the correct local position? How would I turn one of them on? Okay, so that's definitely not an appropriate position. I want the cube uh, more in the center. So how about I just move that? to like zero. Uh, yeah, that's probably okay. Two like that, maybe. They may make it like three, or is that too much? Maybe 2.5. Yeah, okay. I'll try that. I'll try zero, zero, 2.5. Or should I just put it three? Yeah, I just put it three. Only risk is that it's further away from the player and more likely to be thrown through the floor. So in that case, 2.5. Okay, and so I'll just sit here that the optimal uh, local position is 2.5. That's where it should be. I'll go do that for item 1 as well. Okay. And how about I just run that? There we go. So both items are now exactly where they should be. Now this doesn't sort out rotation. You can do like I won't do it, but you can write another script that sorts out the item's rotation in exactly the same way. I mean, you've done this much, you can easily uh, build a script to do, uh, to set the rotation as well. I'm not too fussed. I'm quite happy with how it is. So there you go. That's it. So it's setting the item position correctly uh, at 2.5 meters away from the player. And you can even check that as well. Uh, pretty much. So, yeah, okay, there you go. 2.5 meters away from the player. Perfect. All right, so that's it for this video. Still a bit more to do for this chapter. So thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.